Hi, today I want to give you two quick things to avoid as you're starting your business in 2020. So over the years, there's two common things that I've seen people do. Number one is underestimating the value of their services. And number two is underestimating the time that it takes to run a business. I wanna deal with the second one first. So as you are beginning to launch your business or planning to launch your business, so often people think in time, um, in terms of time. And so they think just like they do in the traditional workforce. And so you may think in terms of um, 40 hour weeks, or maybe you're planning on working 30 hours a week. So you think that you have 30 hours a week and you set your income goal based on working 30 hours a week. But there's a problem with that. Being a business owner is very different than being an employee in a company. All of those things that you weren't involved in are now your responsibility. So you may be working 30 to 40 hours a week or sometimes more, but all of that time is not billable. And that's a really important distinction to understand. So during the course of a week, you're gonna have business development, you're going to have accounting tasks, you're gonna have administrative tasks, you're gonna have strategy and planning and all kinds of other things that are important and they are technically work, but they're not billable to your client. And, and so you want to really plan on maybe 15 to 20 billable hours per week. And that's a good way to begin to think about, okay, if I am recapping the value of 15 to 20 hours a week, how much do I need to really charge to hit my income goal? understanding this does a few things for you. Number one, it helps you to get very realistic about your pricing structure. It also helps you to avoid taking projects or taking on clients that can't afford your rates or low ball projects. Sometimes when people are starting out, they get into this desperation mindset and they grab at things and they think, okay, but when you're able right from the start to calculate what that really means to you and how much money that's really going to give you towards your needs, it helps you to be a little more strategic in what you take on. So the first one is really important and that's underestimating the value of your services. Far too often I see people, um, I see people acting as though starting a business is day one of their entire career. So they treat it as though they're brand new. And you are brand new to owning a business, but you're not brand new to your area of expertise. All of those um, years of experience that you have are still applicable in your own business. And so you need to think of yourself as an expert, as a seasoned professional. People are paying for the value that you can offer them. And they're paying because it's, it's a lot better for them to pay somebody who knows how to solve this problem for them rather than trying to figure it out on their own. And so you need to be mindful of that. And a lot of times, honestly, you know, one of the first conversations that I have with people that have started a business and in their first year is I tell them that chances are you're not charging enough. 99% of the time, it's true. 99% of the time, people really need to raise their rate. They are, they're not charging enough money. And be, when you don't charge enough money, you work a lot harder than you really need to because you're trying to make up what you need in income in volume. And that's a very fast way to burn out. And I have another reality check. Don't believe that you can start off with clients that will pay you just to get you going and that at some point in the future, you'll be able to raise their rates or bring them up. That's probably not true. It's true of clients who are paying you a fair rate and they're paying you your value and understand the value that you bring that you can do rate increases annually um, or you can adjust the scope of work, but you should never go into um, a client taking something below what you know that you're worth, believing that you could raise it up. 
So from day one, you need to understand the value that you bring and you need to understand the amount of time that you really have to offer to clients. It, both of those things are going to help you to have a very strong start to your business. Now on pricing, I'm not really a fan of hourly billing. I do think it's important to set an hourly rate. Um, and we'll talk a lot more about that later in the month when we talk about pricing your services. So remember, don't underestimate the time it takes to run a business and don't underestimate the value that you bring to the table. With those two things in mind, you're off to a very good start of having a great solo PR pro business.